Hello, I'm uh, Daniel Lebovic. I'm a medical oncologist and hematologist here at Alliance, a cancer specialist. I'm originally from this area and did my training at uh, Temple Medical School and then went on to a New York Presbyterian Cornell and Sloan Kettering for my internal medicine training. Then I completed my uh, fellowship training in oncology and hematology at the H. Lee Moffitt Cancer Center in Florida the only NCI-designated cancer center in Florida before returning home to lovely Bucks County. Uh, and I'm happy to be here to serve our patients locally and, and provide the best care. As a medical oncologist here at the Alliance Cancer Specialists, uh, we do see uh, all types of cancer, uh, from the most common to the most rare. And today I'd like to just spend a few moments to discuss one of the areas that I have of personal interest, that's multiple myeloma. Um, multiple myeloma is a cancer of the bone marrow, but it's not leukemia. Essentially, patients with multiple myeloma may have back pain, they may have anemia, uh, they may have high calcium, or they may have some other symptoms. And we make the diagnosis by looking at lab tests that show an abnormal protein that these cancers produce. And we also do a bone marrow biopsy to prove uh, of an abnormal population that's residing in the bone marrow. And after we make that diagnosis, we have a multitude of treatments available to treat multiple myeloma. Some of the treatments are actually not even chemotherapy. Uh, at this time, we have a lot of biologic therapies, immune-based therapies, and some are pills, some are in v IV injections, some are under the skin injections, and we even have clinical trial options as well. Uh, I think overall, the long-term outlook for multiple myeloma is quite good and people are living many years now even with or without transplants and we can do many of the same things that they do at all the university hospitals for our patients close to home and what's so enjoyable for me to treat myeloma is it's a disease we can follow with blood tests you often don't need to get routine CAT scans and the patients do extremely well and the treatments are very well tolerated with very little side effects and many of our patients are working full-time while getting treatment Alliance provides, you know, I think, the uh, same, if not better, treatments than you could get at any university. And what's more important, I think, than the institution is the physician and the nurses that take care of that patient. I think it's knowing how to tailor your treatments for that patient, not only based on the type of disease or the genetic status of their disease, but also who is that patient in front of you? How active are they? What other medical conditions they have? It's not just reading a textbook or a clinical trial and adapting it to your patient. It's adapting it for that patient's whole illness, whole set of uh, health status. And along with that is knowing that you're going to get care that our nurses are here for you. We're here for you 24-7. And once patients understand that we're here, we're local, I think they understand what we're all about, and that's, that's good quality care close to home.